All right, hi everyone. We are going to move through a little flow together. So just find yourself in a comfortable seated position. If you do happen to have anything around you, like a cushion or a pillow, or you wanna pause this and run and get one, just a slide underneath your hips, then you're most welcome to. Really anywhere that feels comfortable. Arms can rest with the palms facing down on your knees for grounding. If you prefer a little bit of energy, then palms face up and then just go ahead and shut down your eyes. So just take a couple of moments here. If you feel like you want to wriggle a little or something needs just some slight adjustment, then do that. And then just start to drop into some stillness. Noticing that heaviness through the sit bones. And at the same time, length through the side of the body. And the chin pulls away from the chest slightly and the crown of the head pulls up towards the sky. Starting to focus on your breath. Nothing too drastic too soon, just finding a little bit more depth every time that you take an inhale. A little bit more length every time that you exhale. And then keep your eyes shut down and we're going to link a little bit of movement to the breath. The next time you inhale, you're gonna sweep your arms out to the side and then up towards the sky so that both of your palms come to press together over the top of your head. And then exhale your hands, draw down through heart center. Let me go again, it's a full breath in, feel the length of the side of the body Palms touch overhead and then exhale, hands draw to heart center. One more time, just like that. Full breath in, really fill up, notice the space. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Just pause there. Take a full breath in through the nose, fill up the ribs. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. And flicker open the eye and next time you inhale sweep the arms back to that same position overhead but keep the palms separate left hand is going to stay and right arm is going to sweep out to the side and once your fingertips find the floor if you want to creep them a little further away to get more of a stretch down the side body you're welcome and just notice that left hip if it's kind of rolling off the mat ground it down take a full breath in open the chest and then as you exhale, we're just going to creep forward. Let your chin come down towards your chest. Take your time. Moving to the other side so the left arm reaches and then the right arm opens up. Breathe into the ribs. And then exhale. Now you can start to work through this little pattern as you please. As fast or as slow as you like. You're most welcome to shut down the eyes. Kind of anywhere that feels sticky that you want to pause, you're welcome to. Anywhere you want to stay, then stay. It's these first few moments on your mat where you get to explore kind of how the body feels today. How is your breath feeling? What you may or may not need from your practice. Let's take a couple more here. If you are pedantic about being even both sides, then just go ahead and finish that now. And then once you have, we're all just gonna creep the hands forward towards the center. Take a little forward fold, maybe this is enough for you. You could drop the elbows. You could reach your arms forward, bow the head. Just let the shoulders be soft. Face is soft. Take 
One big breath into the back of the rib cage, the back of the heart. One breath out, let everything soften. And really slowly let your fingertips start to creep back towards you. Lift the chest and then we're going to roll forward of the knees and come into a tabletop position. Stacking the shoulders over your wrists and the knees underneath your hips. Little bit of cat cow on the inhale breath. You're going to draw the chest forward, send the sit bones to the sky, open the heart. And as you exhale, you're going to draw your hips towards your ribs, scoop the belly and then the chin towards the chest. So inhale, find some length here, open through the collarbones. And then exhale, scoop and round. Same thing again, you can start to move now in a way that feels good for you. If you want to add in anything, rolls through the hips or the shoulders. You're most welcome to coming in and out of child's pose perhaps, or you just stay with the traditional cat-cow. Just see how the spine feels for you today. Let's take a couple more breaths in. And then let's just meet back in this neutral tabletop position with the shoulders sitting forward of the wrists. You're going to press away from the mat so you find a lift out of your armpits and in between your shoulder blades. Then tuck your toes, draw the belly button to the spine and then just hover the knees. So you want to press away from the mat, all the energy goes up. Just starting to warm up into the core a little. Find your breath here. We're just here for another three, two, one, and then your hips go high. Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Adjust your feet as much as you need to, adjust the hands. You have a couple of moments here for some free movement through the head and the neck, maybe through the shoulders. And then just starting to think about your alignment for your downward dog, making sure your hands a shoulder width apart, press down through the thumb and the index finger. Find that length in your spine. If you need to soften your knees so you send your sit bones higher, chest draws closer towards your legs and your eye gaze is at your knees. Next breath in, you're going to rise high onto the balls of your feet, lift your heels. And then next breath out, heels lower to the back of the mat. So as you inhale, lift the heels. And as you exhale, lower. One more time, breathe in to lift, and then breathe out to lower. Next inhale breath, you're gonna ripple forward into a high plank and then pause there. As you exhale, you're gonna tuck your chin to your chest, lift through the armpits, lift through the ribs, then lift your hips, come back into downward facing dog. So it's really slow. Two more times, you're going to inhale. Crown of the head gets there, last for the high plank. And then exhale, chin to chest. Armpits, ribs, then your hips last. Downward dog. One more. Inhale, ripple forward. And then exhale, hips go high. Next time you breathe in, we're coming back into that high plank position. You're going to lower your knees your chest, your chin, and then extend the legs behind you. Fingertips in line with your shoulders and the elbows hug in towards your ribs. You're gonna take an inhale, lift the chest, little baby cobra here, and then exhale, just the forehead and nose to brush the mat. Two more times, inhale, you lift, and then exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift, and then exhale, bring it down. Stay here, just shuffle the hands off the mat so you come onto your fingertips, elbows to the sky. You're gonna breathe in, lift the chest. And then right shoulder drops down to the mat, eye gaze over the left. Tiny little twist. Take an inhale, come back to centre, find that height. And then exhale, left elbow down, eye gaze over the right shoulder. Breathe in, lift the chest, crown of the head pulls to the sky. 
and then exhale, fold it down. Hands to the top of the mat, send your hips back into a child's pose and just let your lower back settle. Full breath in. Nice long breath out. Next time you inhale, tuck the toes, send the hips high, downward facing dog. As you inhale, right leg goes high. Right knee to your nose, scoop the belly, shoulders forward of the wrist, tiger curl. Right leg floats back, three-legged dog. Right knee to your nose, without sound, step it between your hands. Left foot meets your right forward fold, soften knees, let the head hang heavy. Interlace your hands behind you, palms pressed together. Shoulder blades draw together and then just allow the hands to drop over the top of the head. You can shake your head yes, no, whatever feels right. Keep the knees nice and soft, body weight back into the heels. Tummy is strong, arms gonna stay as you take an inhale, halfway lift, shoot the chest forward. And then exhale, forward fold, let the arms drop. We're gonna take an inhale, come all the way up. As you do, release your arms, reach your arms to the sky, backward bend, and then exhale, forward fold, hands to heart center, takes you all the way down. Take an inhale at the bottom, exhale, fold. Bend your knees a lot, sink your hips down, sweep your arms high, Utkatasana, chair pose. Just peek down, make sure the knees are sitting back behind the toes. You're gonna to bring your hands to heart center. It's a breath in here to lift the chest. And then as you exhale, left elbow comes outside of the right knee, thumbs draw towards the center of the chest, relax the right shoulder. Just notice the left knee needs to draw back to meet the right. Body weight to your right foot. Now really slowly left heel to your left glute. And then like you're moving in slow motion, left leg extends back and we find ourselves in this lunge position in a twist. If you've lost it, just find it, lower the back knee. Sweep the arms high. Good, both hands come down to frame the foot. We're gonna rock it back into a half split. Right knee can stay soft, toes to sky. And then rock it forward into this lunge. Drop the left hip down. Good, two more times, rock it back, keep the chest nice and open. Rock it forward, sit into the right hip. One more time, rock it back. And then rock it forward. Beautiful, from here, left knee is going to lift, palms come down, hug the right knee into your chest, draw the belly in, right leg steps back. Vinyasa here, Chaturanga Dandasana, you're gonna inhale forward, Exhale, knees or no knees to come down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, hips go high, downward facing dog. Full breath in here to fill up. Nice long breath out to let go. Next time you inhale, left leg goes high. Left knee to your nose. Shoulders forward of the wrist, tiger curl. Left leg floats back, three-legged dog. Left knee to your nose, press away from the mat. Step it through. Right foot meets your left. Forward fold, let the head hang. Interlace the hands behind you. Let them drop over the top of your head. Knees are soft. Same thing, little yes, little no. Notice the difference, notice the space. Ground down through the heels, strong in the belly. Inhale, halfway lift, shoot the chest forward, long spine. Exhale, fold, let the arms drop, let the head hang. Inhale, lift all the way up, arms leaf, chest lifts to sky. Exhale, fold all the way down. So inhale, breath at the bottom, open the chest and the heart. Exhale, fold, bend the knees. Sit down, sweep the arms high, Utkatasana, chair pose. Hands come to heart center. Breathe in to lift the chest. 
Keep the knees pressing together. Breathe out, finds the twist. Right elbow to left knee. Relax that left shoulder. Body weight to the left foot. Squeeze that left glute like crazy. Right heel to right glute. Slowly extend that leg back to the back of the mat. Find the twist and then lower the back knee. Good, reach your arms high, upper body to center. And then both hands down to frame the foot. Same thing this side, we're taking it into that half split, left toes to sky. And then rock forward. Sit deep into the left side, lengthen the right. Good, take it back into the half split, long spine. Draw it forward, sit down. One more, take it back. One more, draw it forward. Beautiful, from here, palms lower. Pick up the back knee, press away from the mat, draw the belly and left knee to chest to take it back into high plank. Option for vinyasa. One full breath, one full movement, if you need it. Downward facing dog, we all meet. It's a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Good, we start to pick up the pace just a little. Right leg goes high next time you breathe in. You're gonna bend the knee, open up your hip. Keep your shoulders square to the top of the mat. Right knee to right tricep. Draws into your chest with no sound lands between your hands. On the inhale breath, high crescent lunge. Beautiful, now find a draw forward of the left hip, right hip draws back. Left hamstring is pressing to the sky, take an inhale breath. And then right arm comes underneath the left, you're gonna eagle wrap your arms. Next time you inhale, elbows draw to sky, lift the chest. Next time you exhale, scoop the belly and round, legs are strong. Inhale, elbows go high. Exhale, elbows come to the outside of the right knee. Find this little twist through the belly. Inhale, send the elbows high. Open up the arms, Virabhadrasana two. So just adjust the feet if you need to. This right knee is drawing towards your pinky toes. Outer blade of the left foot is nice and heavy. As you inhale, you're gonna straighten the right leg, sweep your arms high, eye gaze lift. Exhale, sit back down, warrior two. Inhale to lift. Exhale, sit down. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, sit down, pause. Circle your hands to the mat to frame the foot. Right leg steps back, no sound. Option here for vinyasa, if you need it, you're welcome to pause in child's pose. Take a breath in downward dog. As always, everything is optional. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Left leg goes high. Flex the foot, bend the knee, open up that hip, draw the chest back towards the right leg. Left knee to left tricep, hug everything in. Left knee to the chest, between your hands. Big breath in, takes you high crescent lunge, strong in the legs. Take an inhale here. Left arm underneath, eagle wrap. Good, elbows go to the sky, really strong in the legs. And then everything to the midline, elbows draw down, chin towards your chest. Breathe in for the elbows to go high. Outside of the left knee, find that twist through the belly, watch that back leg, keep it strong. Elbows go high. Open up, warrior two. Little draw together of the shoulder blades, reach your fingertips further apart. Ground down through that outer blade of the right foot, inhale, arms go high. Straight and left leg. Exhale, sit down. Breathe into lift, notice the space. Breathe out, sit down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, good. Circle hands to the mat, frame the foot. Step it back, vinyasa, if you need it. 
nice and slow, controlled. Moving with your breath. Two breaths in your downward facing dog. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Right leg goes high. Flex the foot, bend the knee, open up the hip, keep the shoulders square. Right knee to right tricep. To the chest, step it through. Breath in, high crescent lunge. Right arm underneath, eagle wrap. Strong in the legs as you inhale, elbows go high. Draw it inside of the right knee, hug the belly. Breathe in, send it high. Exhale for the twist. Inhale brings you back to center. Open up with some energy, warrior two, we sit down. Breathe in, arms go high, straight and right leg. Breathe out, sit down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more inhale. One more exhale, pause there. Pivot on the ball of the back foot. Both arms go high, crescent lunge. Press heavily through the right heel, left knee to chest, stalk pose. We're gonna find that eagle wrap with the arms and then really slowly, left leg is gonna come over. Once, maybe twice for the wrap. Press the thighs together so you can sit down more. Lift the chest, breathe. Last one here. Keep that right knee soft, keep the arms as they are, and just start to unravel this left leg. We're gonna come into a variation of warrior three. Left leg behind, elbows draw away. Start to straighten through the right leg. We're here for three, two, one. Release, left leg meets the right, forward fold, let it all go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fault. Big breath in, sweep your arms out and up to rise. Palms touch overhead. And then the exhale breath brings you all the way down. There's a halfway lift at the bottom. Exhale to fault. Hands stay, walk or float your feet back, high plank. Option for that vinyasa, moving with the breath. Maybe it's a child's pose. Maybe it's downward dog. Two breaths here. Last breath here. Left leg goes high. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Left knee to left tricep. To your chest, step it through. High crescent lunge. Eagle wrap the arms. Breathe in to send the elbows high. Hug everything into the midline, strong in the legs. And then elbows go high. Find that twist. Inhale, elbows go high. Open up to two, sit down. Good. Straighten the arms, straighten the leg. Sit down. Breathe or your energy goes up. Breathe out to sit down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, pause here. Pivot on the ball of the back foot. Both arms go high crescent lunge. Big breath in, right knee to chest. Stalk pose. Find that wrap through your arms. Slowly, right leg comes over once. Maybe twice. So you have time here to adjust, to move. Make sure you're breathing. Sit down, press the thighs together. We've got one more here. Beautiful, left knee stays soft. Start to unravel. Right leg comes back. Elbows draw away from you. Left leg starts to straighten. Breathe for three, two, 
and one. Release, fold everything down, let it go. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Sweep the arms out and up, palms touch overhead. And then the exhale breath takes you all the way down. There's an inhale at the bottom. Exhale to fold. Hands stay. Walk or float feet back. High plank. Vinyasa. Moving with the breath. If you need. Good. Take a big breath in here through the nose. And then open your mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Next time you inhale, right leg is going high. Right knee to right tricep. And then you're going to adjust the heel towards your left wrist. Come down into this variation of pigeon. So right knee is sitting outside of your hip. Just check the back foot isn't sickling. Square the hips and the shoulders. Now you can stay up, that's more of a backward bend. If you want more relief through the hips, the glutes come to your elbows. You're welcome to reach the arms forward. Nice little option is to thread the left arm through left ear and then wrap the right arm behind you. We're here for a few moments. The first opportunity for some stillness within the practice in a physical sense. Couple more breaths here. Make this your last one. And then really slowly take your time if you were in that bind, just start to unravel now. The arms are out in front, you can start to creep them back towards the knee, lift the chest. We're just going to roll onto that right side and swing the left leg around, just about a 45. If you need to adjust this right foot a little higher, then please do sweep the arms high. I'm going to rotate towards your left leg and then fold down. You just grab onto whatever's accessible, perhaps the calf maybe ankle, maybe your toes, maybe you need to bend this left knee a little bit. Just relax here. The more that you can relax, the deeper you're going to go. It doesn't have to be in a physical sense. Just take one more breath in. One more breath out. And then as you start to lift the chest, just let the fingertips walk back towards the legs. Right hand is going to come behind your hip and you're going to sweep this left arm forward and then behind you. So you come all the way up onto this right knee. Press the hips forward. Open the chest and the heart. You're going to take a big breath in to lift. And then on the breath out, slowly lower down. From here, you're going to cross at the ankles. Hands come forward. We're going to step it back into plank. This is your last opportunity if you would like a vinyasa, like you mean it. If you've had enough, we'll meet you in downward facing dog. Deep breath in here, fill up. 
Open your mouth to let something go. Left leg goes high. Left knee to left tricep. Swing that heel in line with the right hip and then just adjust yourself down into pigeon. Take your time, you have it. Adjust the back foot if you need. Square the shoulders and the hips. And then stay up if you please. Or come down. If you're taking the bind this side, it is your right ear. Right arm with the left wrap. Surrender into whatever feels right. Notice if there's anywhere that you could be a little softer. more breaths. Nice deep breath in. And a long breath out. And slowly, slowly unravel if you're in the bind. Start to walk the hands back to lift the chest. Roll onto the left side. Swing that right leg around just as you need to. If this heel needs to come closer to you, um, just go high, big reach, and then rotate. Same offering this side, just to fold down. Hold on to whatever is accessible. If you need to soften that right knee, do. Relax the shoulders. Relax your face. breath in. And one more breath out. And as you release the hands, just start to walk them back towards you. Left hand is coming behind your hip. You're going to roll onto the left knee all the way onto the right big toe. Draw the ribs to the sky. Really open the chest. Really breathe into the heart space. And then slowly lower down. Extend both legs forward towards the front of your mat. Just make sure that you have room behind you. A little shuffle if you need and then take an inhale, sweep the arms forward and then draw the belly in and slowly, slowly take your time. Come down onto your mat. From there, draw the knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug, fingertips to elbows. Let the tailbone sink down to the mat and the chin draw slightly towards your chest so you find some length. And the knees are gonna stay in towards the chest. You're gonna unravel your arms. We're gonna take a little twist. You have options here with the legs. You could just Allow both knees to drop to the left side. You can wrap your right foot over the top of the left and find that eagle wrap 
with the legs. If you have any other variations of a twist that you like, you're most welcome to take it. Your eye gaze can be up or over the opposite shoulder. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. If you did happen to wrap the legs, just start to unravel them now. Knees are drawing back through center and then up and over to the right side. So whatever you did the first side generally we will do the second. That left shoulder grounding down is gonna help you feel the twist more in your spine. If it hovers, it's not a big deal, but you will generally feel it more through your chest. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Slowly coming back to centre, unravel the legs if they were wrapped. Hug the knees back into the chest, find that last bit of compression through the lumbar. Little rock side to side if you need. And then from here, we are on our way to Shavasana. So we just start to release the legs, let them go long, separate them as far as feels right. Arms can be wherever you like, by your side, left hand to heart or right hand to your tummy. Shut down the eyes. Relax the space between your eyebrows and the back of the jaw. Let the tongue drop away from the roof of your mouth. And this is an open-ended Shavasana, so I'm going to leave you here. I encourage you to stay for as long as you can. Thank you for joining me from the bottom of my heart to the bottom of yours. Namaste.